All right, hi everyone, it's Ephraim from Passpoint One Comics and here's my next video. Comic books have been, if anybody has ever seen my videos before, I always say that comic books are a passion of my life and they are, and I just like doing these videos um, on a hopefully weekly basis, not <laughs> wood, as much as I can. I usually show, you know, local, I mean, comic books that I just got uh, recently from CGC or from an LCS or I try to do interviews or try to go to comic book stores, which I'm trying to set up and still do. And I, you know, all the time I see, you know, YouTube videos are always great. You know, they always show people, you know, which books to buy, you know, which books are gonna be hot. I decided, and I like watching those videos and I like giving my comments every now and then also, but I try to do different types of topics. I try to say, you know, what would I like to see? And one that came up on my mind was like team ups or what ifs. I know the What If series on Disney Plus just ended. It was a fantastic series. But these are just What Ifs from any genre, or any comic book series. It doesn't have to be just Marvel, or all DC, or Image. Could be movies, you know. But I have like about 13 that just popped in my head and I wrote them down and I wanted to share with everybody. Oh, yeah, if you hear um, birds chirping or my dogs barking or playing with these toys, yeah, my studio's in my house. <laughs> okay? So. The first one, I recently, I know I'm late to the party, but I've been watching Star Wars Rebel. Um, I know it's been out years and years ago, but there's this one character that's like a comedic, um, he's a comedic part of the show, more or less, and his name is Chopper. He's a, he's a droid, and I would love to see a team up between Chopper and R2-D2. I'm not sure if this has ever happened before in comic books, but I've never seen one. I think they would be great together. And I would love to see them fight the uh, the killer droids, Triple uh, Zero and BT One. I think it would be a great comic book series or a mini series seeing them fight each other. And at the end, of course, I would like to see Chopper and R two D two win and have like a cameo by C three PO, you know, helping them out at the last minute when all seems bad for them. I think it would be a great comic book. Like I said, a mini series. <laughs> These characters are just awesome. Uh, my next one would be uh, Wolverine having a matchup with Lobo from DC Comics. I think both of these guys have that same type of, you know, down and dirty, you know, type of uh, superheroes. But well, Lobo's not more of a superhero. He's more, I'm not sure what his character is, you know, but he's just like a bounty hunter, I think. But I would love to see him and Wolverine um, get together and maybe have uh, Deadpool with a cameo in this series too. Uh, my next up, my next one up would be Vision and Red Tornado. They're both they're both androids, and uh, you know, um, Vision is from Marvel, of course, and Red Tornado is from DC Comics. I would like to see them have a team up. I think it'd be a great, you know, adventure. You know, who would be the most analytical between the both of them? <laughs> and next one would be Wanda from Marvel and Zatanna from DC. Um, I don't believe they were met together. Maybe there might have been some Justice League uh, Avengers team ups, but I'm not sure if they had ever actually been together in a team up. I doubt that they have. You know, uh, Zatanna has magic, telepathy, and uh, teleportation. And everybody knows Scarlet Witch. You know, her her um, her powers are mutant. Well, she's not a mutant anymore, but her powers are to wreak havoc, basically. Next on our kind of newer characters would be Naomi from DC and uh, Ms. Marvel, Kamala Khan from Marvel Comics. I think that both of them together, they're both teens and they can always, you know, start off, you know, like as adversaries, they don't know each other, but then, you know, what brings them together is their similarities, they're both teen and teen angst. And I think they would be a great uh, matchup. Next up would be Flash and Quicksilver. I love the Flash. I think he's the, one of the most awesome characters in DC, you know, comic books. Quicksilver, eh. You know, but I don't know what kind of team up it would be. Maybe to see who at the end of this their series, or if they ever had one, to see who the fastest person is really. And I think it would be the Flash. That's my opinion. Uh, next up would be two different series completely. Of course, Star Wars and Star Trek. I grew up watching Star Star Trek as a kid. I really enjoyed the series, and of course, when Star Wars came out I was like wow you know a whole different ball game so to speak but seeing both of these universes get together for a series on a comic book I think would be awesome it would I would love to see like Spock and um, you know f talking to uh, the characters in Star Wars you know C-3PO 
you know? Or uh, let me see who else, uh, Darth Vader against maybe, and then uh, Khan could show up on Star Trek too. I think it'd be a great series. And from Star Trek, I would like to see uh, Captain Kirk and the next generation with um, Captain Picard. Some of those from both series kind of get together somehow and then meet up with Star Wars. Okay, uh, next up, uh, speaking of uh, Star Wars, Darth Vader, and I would like to see him team up with Doctor Doom. I think that would be a great matchup. I mean, both of them in their prime are very evil. And of course you have to throw in the Fantastic Four and um, some of the characters in Star Wars, see what would happen. Uh, next up would be Captain Marvel, Carol Danvers again, oh, well, not against, but probably at the beginning against uh, Wonder Woman. I think it would be a great matchup, these two powerhouses. And of course, you know, at the beginning, they're butting heads, you know, because they're from different universes. They don't know who they are, but towards the end, they're both good, you know, superheroes. So they would team up and fight the bad guys. Next up would be Superman. Now this is a different kind of superhero that I would team him up with. I think they've never done him justice before. He's supposed to be one of the most powerful or the most powerful being in Marvel history, but you know, he's dead now and he's always getting beat up. He's always had problems. It would be Sentry. I mean, I think that's, they have not developed that character the right way. It always seems just like an afterthought. Um, I think Superman Sentry uh, matchup would be fantastic to see what would happen between the both of them. Probably Superman would win if they ever got into a fight, but Sentry would just mental breakdown or something would happen to him. But I would like to see that team up. Uh, next up, um, got another DC and Marvel. And most of these are DC and Marvel to begin with. If I continue this series, I'm going to start stretching out to other books from Image and um, Boom Studios, see what, you know, what team ups I would like to see. But this one, I think it should have, I'm not sure if it ever happened before, like other ones, um, Catwoman and Black Cat. I mean, come on, who wouldn't want to see the both of them tangle, so to speak? And of course, uh, Batman probably would show up and then Spider-Man would show up as, you know, cameo somehow. But I think that would be a great team up. Uh, next would be Spawn and Daredevil. Daredevil, obviously, is the man without fear, and Spawn is basically, you know, he had to go to hell. He died, and he went to hell, and he came back as Spawn. I think their personalities, uh, Daredevil's faith, and, you know, what, what happened to Spawn, I think would be a great team-up. And next up would be um, Doctor Fate from DC, and this is my last one, and Doctor Strange. They're both doctors, <laughs> so they probably... I would, ask, I would just like to see that team up, how they would interact with each other and, you know, bring enemies from both DC and Marvel in the mystical world, so to speak. And, um, yeah, see what would happen between them. You know, at the end, you know, they probably would solve a, a great problem that happened, you know, that would affect both universes. So, like I said, these are just team ups that I would like to see. And I'm going to try to continue this on a regular basis, maybe once a month or once every other month. I'm gonna do team ups like from other comic book or publications, you know, whatever grabs my fancy. But I'm not done. And yeah, I'm gonna show you comic books. You knew I was gonna show you comic books, so here they are. They're just a few, okay? So I plan to get some, hopefully, get some more in the mail. If anybody has seen my videos in the past, um, they probably know that I don't really go to an LCS. Um, there are some around here where I live, of course, but most of them. I go, I do buy from an LCS, but they're based in uh, Chicago, Illinois, or Gmart Comics. I'll put a link uh, to their site in the description below. But I bought a few, um, and some came in um, a couple days ago. So let me get it right here. First one is uh, Primordial. I haven't read this series yet. It's by Jeff Lemire, Andrea Sorrentino, and Dave Stewart. There's more than one cover. If there's a glare, since I don't have that many books, I'm gonna put them right here too, so you can see them, okay? Uh, this is the next one from Primordial. This, the premise of this story, from what I read um, in the previews, is some monkeys went to outer space by, at the beginning of the space race, but they never came home to Earth, or to, so to speak, but they were taken by, I think, an entity, and now they've come back to Earth. So you know that they're just not normal monkeys. Uh, here's another cover of this one hopefully the glare is not too the glare is not too bad and like i said i'm gonna put it up here and here's the last cover from uh, primordial 
Next one is a Black Widow, number 11. I just like this cover. It's by Alex Ross. It's a um, Natasha, they're, um, Black Widow. She's uh, pointing a gun and uh, you see smoke coming out of the gun, but the, then you see the smoke is almost like part of her clothing. I thought it was a pretty cool looking uh, cover. And this one, I got two of them. Um, it's Iron Man number 12. It's a 10 year anniversary of Miles Morales, uh, Spider-Man. So they've been showing some uh, covers, even though it's not his book, they've just been doing covers of Miles Morales on other Marvel books. And this, this one I really liked. I'm always saying <laughs> that I'm not gonna buy any more variants or um, you know one in tens, one in twenties, one in one hundreds. But like they're just so expensive. I when I do my um, when I do my comic books that I choose preview and advance orders. I really I go through uh, the list of comic books available like four or five times. I try to pick ones that I feel that will be good to read and you know may catch a fire so to speak. But that's not, the fire part is not the primary. If it's a good storyline, I read my comic books and I really enjoy reading them. So this one um, is Inferno, number one. It's a virgin copy, so it's more expensive. <laughs> I know I said I wasn't gonna buy any more, but I do. This is by Art Germ Stanley Lau. And uh, I just really like this cover and I had to get it. Um, so it's an X-Men book. X Inferno, I think it's number one, it's just a new ongoing series. I don't know how many issues it's gonna last. Oh, by the way, this is Mystique from uh, X-Men. My, my last one, I didn't even know that I bought this one. It just came in yesterday. I usually try to keep a log of every book that I order, you know, that's beyond my LCS, you know, that I could, like one off, so to speak. And I usually write it down so when it comes, you know, I know, okay, I know I ordered this or whatever. If they don't come in, I know who to contact. But I completely forgot I got this one, but it's a nice cover. It's Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters, uh, number five. Uh, it's the 50th anniversary, I think, of Lucasfilm Limited. Um, it's of Ahsoka and uh, Jedi Master. So I got three of these, and it's Anakin Skywalker, sorry. Um, I Like I said, I got this yesterday, and I didn't even know that I got it. <laughs> okay, so I went, okay, this is cool. So I got three of them. I think there's a really awesome looking cover, so I decided to buy it. So um, these, like I said, I just trying something new. Um, these team ups are ones that are from my imagination that I would like to see. I'm gonna be doing more down the line, maybe once a month or once every other month of team ups. Um, if you have any um, suggestions for team ups, I would like to hear what you would what you would like to see. Leave it below in the description. So once again, this is Efren from Passpoint One Comics. Next time, hopefully I'll have more books to show you, okay? Everybody be safe and take care.